Hello and welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you for joining me on Make It Monday. Today I thought um, I would sneak peek a couple of products for you. Um, our brand new um, catalogue comes out on Wednesday. I am so excited. I'm really, really excited. I can't wait for you to see what's in this book. I have already sent out a pile of catalogues, but I do have some left in stock. So if you want one and you live in the UK, just drop me an email. Um, all my contact details are in the down bar below. Um, and I will send you one. Or you can subscribe to my newsletter. The link's also in the down bar below. And you will get a digital copy to your inbox um, first thing on Wednesday morning. So today I thought I would share with you the pop of paradise stamp set now this one when this one came up on pre-order i'm looking i looked at it and went it's got a flamingo in it i don't know what to do with a flamingo um but i have pushed myself and i've used it a couple of times actually um the samples will be on my blog over the next few months weeks goodness knows how long um i've got a lot of cards to share with you <laughs> Anybody that's coming to my launch party next week will see a lot of samples. Um, but I have used this more than I thought I would, actually. The flamingo, not quite so much, but the leaves and the sentiments, I think, are fabulous. So, but saying that, I have got the flamingo for you today. So I've also got some of the new in colours. I'm using two of the new in colours today. I'm using peekaboo peach, which looks really peachy on the cap but actually comes out quite orange when you stamp it uh, or when I stamp it anyway it comes out quite orange and I've got flirty flamingo which is just the most gorgeous blue colour uh, blue colour that ain't blue is it that is pink that is definitely definitely pink it is a cool pink though so that might be where I've got blue from who knows so for my card today I have got a piece of Flirty Flingo cardstock. Isn't it gorgeous? I've got a piece of watercolour paper. I haven't made this card already, by the way. This is all in my head. Um, and then I've got two pieces of designer series paper, which unfortunately come from different packs. But I was going for the same pack, and then the piece of... This wasn't in the DSP that I thought it was in. So this is a piece of black designer series paper from the Neutrals designer series paper stack. And this, with the gold in it, um, is from the Pop of Pink Designer Series paper, which also comes out on Wednesday. So there's also some, in the same pack, there's loads of um, really cool black, black, white and pink, but, well, black, white and melon mambo is the colour scheme, but it's got some flecks of, of gold in it, and there's um, some really cool gold polka dots that I can't bring myself to use. So I've also already stamped and, and, and fussy cut, because you didn't need to watch me do that, this piece, um, this banner that says thank you. So shall we get on with some stamping, because I've now waffled on for just over three minutes and I haven't stamped anything yet. So, watercolour paper, flamingo stamp. How cool is he? And I've got my markers, I've got um, pink and peach, flirty fl flamingo and my basic black. I'm going to colour in my flamingo so the trick with the mark the coloring stamps with the markers is there's two ends to our markers there's a um sort of fine tip end which is great for journaling project life and there is our brush tip end and you need your brush tip end to color in the stamp so first off i'm going to grab my flirty flamingo and i'm going to color my flirty flamingo in all over with my mark pen you could just as easily probably just stamp this um but i i'm going for the awkward awkward look so uh, get that all nice and colored in like so and then i'm going to take my flirty flamingo and i'm just going to sort of add bits just sort of patchy bits it's going to look a bit it's going to feel a little bit strange because you're not coloring it in completely um and it's got a little peachy feet and then so th it, I you can't see that very well on there at all um but never mind you will see it when I stamp it so I'm going to take my basic black and I'm just going to really carefully colour in the beak and its little eye and that's it and then you will if you when you do this you'll see that the ink dries on your stamp 
Stampin' Up! ink is water soluble, which is great because it means it comes out of your clothes and off your hands, but it also means that you can reactivate that ink on that stamp. So the way, easiest way to do it is by breathing on it. Um, you could also spritz it with water. So, and I'm going to stamp this down in my piece of, the middle of my piece of watercolour paper, trying to get it straight. So, How cool is he? And you're looking at that going, well, it's not stamped very well, is it? But it's okay, because I'm going to rescue it. I've got my stamping spritzer, and I'm just going to really carefully spritz across it, which will also reactivate the ink, and you will see that that ink just starts to just bleed a little bit. I'm going to get that a bit, bit more on there. And you can see that even the the beak is bleeding a little bit, but that's fine. I don't mind that. Um, and I'm going to leave that just off to one side, just to dry ever so slightly while I put the rest of my card together. I might have to heat that with my heat tool in a minute, because my desk is all wet now. So, I haven't done a voiceover for today, because I needed to get this video made quickly. And thought, oh no, I'll just talk way through it. This is me card making. This is me just waffling away to you as I make cards today. Look, this is genuine, this is real life, folks, real life. I'm going to grab my Fast Fuse. And just a bit of sticky on the back of my designer series paper. And so that's going to go about there trying to get it lined up. I love Fast Fuse. Fast Fuse is my favourite adhesive. It absolutely is my adhesive of choice. I'll line that up there. And then I'm going to have to heat that with my heat tool. So I'm going to turn off the camera while I heat this, while I hit my flamingo with my heat tool and I will be back in a second. Okay, so that's now dry, and you can see as it's dried, it was quite bent, um, but it's dried flat-ish. Um, so I'm going to pop that onto my card base, so I'm going to use Fast Fuse again. I love Fast Fuse, it's super, super sticky. Um, there is a bit of a technique to using it, but I absolutely love it, it's brilliant. There we go. And then I just need a piece of dimensional adhesive. I'm going to use some stamping dimensionals today. Oh, how sad is that? The edge of my stamping dimensionals. Because there's no dimensional left on the sheet. And I'm going to pop that on the back of there. Like that. And then just finish it off. I've got my gold wink of Stella and I'm just going to add some feathers for my flamingo. So it's a sort of gold coloured flamingo which is going to be lovely. I do love my wink of Stella. Just dabbing ever so carefully and then he's going to have a nice gold eye as well. There we go. And that is my pop of paradise make it monday thank you ever so much for watching i cannot wait for you to see the new catalog on wednesday stay tuned to this channel there will be a video on wednesday but there will not be a video friday this week um just too much to do and not enough time to do it in um but i will see you again next monday with another fabulous project um don't forget to check out my blog click the link subscribe and i'll see you again next time thanks for watching bye for now